Yeah, look, I'd like to thank all of the Lee fans because they've travelled on those Monday night games better than any other club in the championship, I believe, at the moment. So we, we love them being there and giving us their, their support. And we're going to need them up at Hull KR on, on Saturday in a, in a, on a Saturday afternoon game at 3 p.m. in the sunlight. Like That's as good as it gets in rugby league. So I know it's a long way for all of you, but get out there and support us. We, we appreciate that and, and we'll put in a great performance for you. A big thank you for joining us. Uh, before we get to the sixth round of the Challenge Cup, big congratulations on making it this far. It's been been quite a journey. Certainly, certainly no gimmies in the previous round. I mean, how have you how have you found the last two matches in the Challenge Cup this season? Look, I've enjoyed the whole competition. To be honest with you, uh, since arriving here in December, I think Chris uh, Chester only started with seven players late November, so it's been an an uphill battle to get to where we are is in building the squad numbers, but it's it's a week to week proposition for us. And um, uh, it, after, having said that, I think that the players that we've had had have done an amazing job to, to get to where we are on the ladder at the moment. And I think we've had eight games in total with seven wins. So that that loss being at Featherston in, in that on that horrible Monday night condition. So you know we're we're growing as a side. You know, I think there's a lot of confidence that's been added to the group as, as each week has unfolded. And certainly last two weeks have been probably the toughest of all. I was going to ask you because um, about how, how have you settled into the role? Because um, there's been no let up, has there? Because, you know, even in the Challenge Cup, it's just competitive game after competitive game in these early stages of the season. I mean, how, how have you found it more generally? Yeah, look, I've enjoyed it. Uh, the, the hardest part for me really has been... I think we've had five Monday night games on the on the on the bounce since the start of the year. So that's been the difficult part, you know, playing in the cold and wet conditions in, in small fields, different size fields, and adapting to those conditions has been a, a real challenge for the group. But we've done it quite well, you know, and it's only you know a quarter of the way through the season. So we've got a lot of improving to do, but I'm really pleased at where the group is at at the moment. And and for you personally, obviously, you know, joining the club this year. Um how, how have you settled into the role as, as well? Yeah, look, I've been really happy with with all of the ongoings on the day to day basis with the coaching side. I mean, that's been, you know, what what's I enjoy the most. But I think what I've I've loved also is having a relationship with the director of rugby and Chris Chester and and the, the owner Derek Beaumont and and having a lot of say in in the recruitment that we're doing here and bringing players to help strengthen the squad. I've I've enjoyed that part of having more hands on with that. So. You know, we're building a nice squad here. And, and like I said, it's a, on a week-to-week proposition for us. So we're always looking at how else we can strengthen that group and we'll continue to do that every week. But, you know, loving it at the moment. And uh, with regards to this level of the game, you've obviously coached coached Taya. I mean, what, what have you made of the, the championship more generally? Because uh, if we're throwing the Challenge Cup as well, it's it's certainly been entertaining, that's for sure. Yeah, and it's only going to get better, I guess. I'm, I'm enjoying... You know, the, the competition is is at a very high level at the moment and a lot of clubs have got ex-Super League players in them and, and you get to, I'm just getting a feel of who's who really with, with within the groups and squads and the strengths of each squad. So, you know, that's been a, a, a really enjoyable part to it. Um, Travelling away to all the smaller grounds has been another enjoyable part, albeit sometimes thinking, what are we doing here? But <laughs> but that's that's what it's about, the competition, trying to change up every week and, you know, all we can do here, you know, the sun's shining today, which is great. Hopefully it dries up and the fields dry up and we can get some better rugby going. But I think, you know, the championship is, is if you have a look at the ladder at the moment, it's it's all very close, tight up the top. And uh, let's talk about the, the Challenge Cup then. And let's talk about Hull KR um, this weekend. Um, I'm assuming your ambition is to, to be playing Hull KR next season's Super League. So this will be a good indication of where your squad's at, I'd imagine. Yeah, I think so. These are the games that you want to play in, especially a club like Lee at the moment that, is, that are in championship and with the ambitions to go up, you know, along with a couple of other clubs. We're all sitting thinking the same, but all of the championship clubs have got Super League clubs matches this weekend. So it's, it's you know, very mouth-watering, I guess, for Rugby League. And hopefully there's an upset or two in the, in, in the cards here. So, you know, Hull KR are a team with great individuals, you know, when they when they get connected as a group and play together, they're a hard team to beat regardless of who they're playing. And they, they had a lot of you know, big wins last year against a lot of the top clubs. And, you know, they've recruited quite well this year too. So, you know, watching them in preview, you know, they, they can score at any any tackle of any set in at any minute of the game. So that's the dangerous part for us, for Lee. You know, we're trying to build here and, and have, you know, set some DNA in, in stone on who we want to be. So this is another opportunity for us to, to challenge yourselves against a Super League club and and there's no better place, I guess, than away at Hull KR 
um, in in the um, in round six of the Challenge Cup. And what do you imagine that step up's going to be like uh, this, this weekend? Because obviously you played some very very good championship sides this season. Uh, but mm. uh, with all due respect to them, th- this is a step up. So what what do you think the major differences are between you know playing a Super League side like like Hull KR and and you know your top end championship sides? You know, they're, they're a team that want to play the game fast, so they're quite fit, they're quite skillful, but also just the intensity of the game, I think, will lift like the, the players are probably aren't used to on a week-to-week basis. And, and, and with the intensity comes the size and speed of the opposition individual players. So that'll be the big challenge for us this week to make sure that we can step up in that area, and I'm confident we can do that. And, and last question, Adrian, just, uh, you know, it's been, been a cracky start to the season. Very, very frantic. And uh, what, what's your message to the Lee faithful this weekend, making that trip over to Humberside? Yeah, look, I, I'd like to thank all of the Lee fans because they've travelled on those Monday night games better than any other club in the championship, I believe, at the moment. So we, we love them being there and giving us their, their support. And we're going to need them up at Hull KR on, on Saturday, in a, in a, on a Saturday afternoon game at 3pm in the sunlight. Like That's as good as it gets in rugby league. So I know it's a long way for all of you, but get out there and support us. We, we appreciate that. And and we'll put in a great performance for you. But overall, very, very happy with, with where the league club's at at the moment, you know, heading in the right direction, always open to, to building the squad and, and looking forward to improving as a team and, and getting to the top of the ladder.